I have the honor to be taking a look at yet another 360mm AIO liquid cooler at some real competitive pricing. But is performance looking as good as pricing does? So let me introduce you the Xilens Liquorizer LQ360 ARGB. The brand Xilens, quite a few of you surely have heard of already. However, we are mainly talking of a brand that's more widely known in EU regions for now. I've had my first experience with it over 11 years ago with a power supply. It wasn't great, but now Xilens has branched out and even offers AIO liquid coolers, even equipped with trendy ARGB lighting. We are currently looking at a price of about 90 to 95 US dollars, but once again, you'll probably have a hard time spotting this product outside of Europe for now. Either way, that's some real competitive pricing there. So today's Xilens cooler kinda takes up the fight against the comparable, attractive Enermax Slickmax 3 ARGB360, which I've also reviewed in the past. But the more important question here is, whether or not we are dealing with quality here, what noise levels are like, and of course, if we get the promised cooling performance as advertised. Today's AIO, after all, is rated for a TDP of up to 400 watts. I can definitely say good words about the very complete package of what comes included, besides the AIO unit and the three 120mm fans, as well as mounting kit, we do get a fan splitter cable, a small tube of thermal paste, and also a small but fine and usable ARGB controller, including an ARGB splitter cable. Furthermore, bonus points for not implementing any proprietary ARGB connectors, but for going with the standard 3-pin 5V connectors instead. As with close to all AIO units out there, we are once more looking at an aluminum radiator that however seems to be very well made. Obviously there's also a bit of that brushed aluminum look going on. Now even though it's mostly just for cosmetics, we do see metal fittings on both the radiator as well as pump unit. Certainly a nice surprise. As far as the overall design and construction of the pump unit is concerned, it heavily resembles one of Acetec's designs and I believe it is exactly that. Some won't like the lack of creativity here and will call this boring, but hear me out. Acetec based units for the most part are considered fairly reliable, so it kind of makes sense as a cooling brand to go with a rather risk-free and proven option. Why not after all? Oh and they went with a ceramic bearing. I did however notice that the pump comes with a 3-pin connector that Silence connected with a SATA power adapter right out of the box, probably for older motherboards that cannot provide enough juice. The fans make a pretty solid impression, also come with rubber padding to keep vibration noise down to a minimum. Although internally, Silence apparently haven't quite made up their minds about the specifications here. Quite a bit of information contradicts itself. For one thing, for instance on Silence's website, it says under features that the fans are equipped with a hydraulic bearing, but then further down below in the specs, it says FDB. So which one is it? And to make matters worse, printed on the packaging, the hydraulic bearing. Similar story with the fan speeds. Oh well, it is what it is. Good performance is being delivered, and whether it's a hydraulic bearing or FDB, at $92-95. I can't complain either way. Now, both the fans and the pump unit are illuminated, the latter a bit more of the subtle kind. What I do not like about the aesthetics of the pump, on the other hand, is the rather plastical look and feel to it. The gorgeous sleeve tubing at a massive length of 465mm makes up for a lot though. The Liquorizer LQ360 ARGB certainly does impress with its rather large copper base, and in fact, even the gigantic socket STRX4 made it onto the support list, something that can't be taken for granted unfortunately. Aside from that, all the usual sockets by Intel and AMD are being supported, albeit at the time of this video, LJ1700 for Intel's new Alder Lake CPUs did not officially make the list yet. Maybe later, hopefully. The installation went all hassle-free, all is kept fairly straightforward, with minimal effort required, and the mounting kit is of good quality. As for noise levels, I can deliver good news to you. Whereas the fans are without a question, audible at max fan speeds, albeit not annoying, 
at medium or normal fan speeds, the included fans do their job fairly quietly. As for the pump, even at its rated 2100 RPM, remains inaudible, to me at least. So with the right fan curve, you can really transform the setup into a silence miracle of some sort, with headroom lift. It's time though to mount this liquorizer onto my trusty, slightly hot AMD Ryzen 7 3800X and read out the temperatures. What can I say, the LQ360 ARGB by Silence easily keeps up with those other very capable, even pricier AIO units. Although if we were to handle an excessive amount of heat, it's clear that the competing Lickmax 3 ARGB360 by Enermax does take the lead, by a small margin however. It's also worth noting that these results are somewhat dependent on the choice of CPU, since certain coolers perform better or worse with specific CPU core layouts. Nonetheless, the Liquorizer by Silence appears to be a complete capable AIO solution well worth recommending. Combined with those low noise levels, as with many models out there, yet another model you can almost blindly go with. In terms of longevity and reliability, I don't really have any concerns, since the whole unit just screams Acetec, and units that are based on Acetec I have made great experiences with, for the most part, even though you usually don't make it to the number one spot when it comes to cooling performance. At a price of $90 to $95, or rather 85 euros over here in Europe, today's AIO offers a really really good price to performance ratio. The only thing that kind of bothers me here is the rather cheap plasticky look of the pump. Other than that, a big thumbs up for the Silence Liquorizer LQ360 ARGB. And as always, thanks a lot for watching everyone and please take care.